is up YouTube? I'm here in Vegas right now in my house. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you haven't, you gotta go ahead and make sure you check me out right now. Link in the description below. But I actually am here in Nevada right now. The reason I'm here in Nevada is because my family's actually moving houses. And so I actually drove all the way down here to Vegas from California so I can go ahead and help them actually move because I'm not gonna let my stepdad do all the moving by himself, you know what I mean? So I'm here and sorry for the really loud noises in the background. Here's my niece. What's your name? Excuse me, you're interrupting my vlog. <laughs> what? Who do you think you are? What is your name? Jalen. What's your name? Jalen? My Raven. Oh. And yeah, so this is really nice, man. This is this is the house that we we where I helped to move in. This is a new place. Uh, if you want to see what my old place was, you can check out literally one of my very first videos on this channel. This is the really nice kitchen. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Say hey. Say hi. But yeah. Okay, don't mind that mess right here. It's gonna be dark. This is gonna be my room right here. Nothing in here. My room. And you are not allowed in here, okay? <laughs> no. Okay. Hey, get out. What are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and rest and I'll see you guys tomorrow because there's something I do want to talk about. So let's get some B-roll to place and see you guys in a little bit. Let's go. Alright guys, what is up YouTube? It's finally Sunday morning. I'm here with my sister, little niece in the car. We're gonna finish moving at the other house and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's go. We collide, we break down, caving in. When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way to better We can't be hard All right, YouTube, so, yeah, I know there's a lot of B-roll, but I mean, it's a vlog. <laughs> and I wanted to kind of document some of my time here, get some B-roll of my niece and my sister, and I actually got some footage of my mom too, but I'm not gonna put that in this video. Um, but yeah, so, I was talking to someone on Discord today. Question, he asked me, Chris, sometimes I feel like I can't do it. Like, is it really possible to become a developer without a degree? Is it really possible to be a self-taught developer in a matter of months? And you know, I did ask him a couple questions and I can see that he asked that because he really wants to do it. But I think learning code is not an ordinary thing, to be honest. What is normal in today's society, you go to college and you'll make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. Uh, usually what people, what's normal in today's standards is you go to college and you get, you get a career. I'm making, again, 50, 60 K a year. Uh, but it's not normal to become a coder without college, without a degree. That's not normal in today's society. And one thing I told him, right? And so he pretty much lives in LA County. And I told him like, bro, like, because you live in LA County, I mean, this kind of applies to everywhere from the United States. But I told him because you live in LA County, because you live near the tech bubble, I told him this, I told him, as long as you put in the hard work, right? As long as you're willing to put in hustle like as long as you're willing to hustle and do whatever it takes to get it i generally believe that coding it's one of the very few in industries in the world at least within this niche where as long as you're willing to put in the hard work as long as you're building willing to build a portfolio as long as you're willing to persevere even when it's hard and as long as you're willing to remain humble and ask questions you need help and understand it's okay that you don't know everything this is one of the few industries where I generally believe that if you put in the hard work, you are 100% guaranteed to get into the industry. You are 100% guaranteed to get a job. 
Why? Because what are employers looking for? They're looking for people who can solve problems. They're looking for people who don't know every language in the world, right? But they're looking for people who don't know every JavaScript. They're not looking for people who know every JavaScript framework or library, who knows PHP, no, well, I mean, there's some people who do know that, which is crazy. PHP, um, you know, Ruby, whatever it is, right? They're not looking for people who just have a degree. The kind of people that companies are looking for are the kind of people who can code. That's it. Who can solve problems? You're not expected to know everything, right? I told him the fact that we get to live in a time where as long as you are putting, willing to put effort and co learn code, it's insane, but you are seriously 100% guaranteed to get a job in the industry. It's extremely possible. And it blows my mind away. Like, dang, like, when I think about it, even just myself, like, I didn't, I, I barely graduated high school. I dropped out of college because I felt like I wasn't smart enough. And number three, I felt like I could never do it because I doubted myself so much. And so from the time I was 18 to when I, I was like 27 and a half or so, for, the, for those like next nine years from 18 to 27, I really thought that I was nothing. I really thought that, man, I could never make it. This like, my life is it. I'm just going to go from job to job, working at the airport, working at a retail, retail store. Maybe I'll work for a coffee shop. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know for a fact that I'll never make any money, that I'll never be able to live comfortably or succeed in my life. And I believe that for so long. But there's code. And code changed my life in three months, and it tripled my salary in two years. <laughs> all right? Coding, I, I can't believe where I am today. And all it takes for everyone who's watching right now, all you need, what you need to become a developer, to change your life, and be willing to work hard. Now, of course, you have to love code, right? That's very true. But I'm going to tell you this. I did not love code at first. I did not love to code when I couldn't understand HTML, CSS, especially when JavaScript was so hard. But now that I pushed through that barrier, and now because I'm able to see what I can create, now because I can see how much, number one, it can change my life and how I can change people's lives or I can be, bring value to a company, I love code so much now. Like literally at work, I'm coding all day and I enjoy it. I like, I'm so focused. I have my headphones on. I'm listening to Eminem all day and I'm creating things and it's so fun and it's so like satisfying. So like, yes, you have to love code, but something you can learn too. In Counter-Strike 2, right? It was so hard for the first two months. Uh, everyone was killing me. I couldn't kill anyone. I couldn't under control my recoil. And after three or four months, I was like insane already too, right? So it's always that, that first few months or for coding, it could be a year or so. It feels like, what am I doing? Why, why is it so hard? It's not enjoyable. It's supposed to be like that. Again, why? That's why we get paid so well. Right? This is one of the only few niches, industries that I could think of. As, if you're, as long as you're willing to put in the hard work, you can get into it. It's possible, no matter how old you are. And, and I'm seeing it. So, like, I'm getting messages on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comments, emails of people getting jobs. It's crazy. All these people like add me on LinkedIn, right? And then what I'll see a couple months later or a year later, boom, congrat, congrat this person because he just got hired as a web developer, front of developer, software engineer at X company, right? And I send, every time I see that, I send them a congrats and leave a comment below. If you're one of those people, please let them know that when people get a job and I see it on LinkedIn, right? I get my notifications, I congratulate them. Like lives are changing, man. As long as you're willing to put in the hard work. Now, this the, like in the US, yes, it's 100% guaranteed pretty much. Now, um, you know, it could be in Australia as well. And there are some places in the world, of course, where coding isn't really the niche. But who says you can't do freelance online as well, right? Anyway, that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> so I got to go. I'll see you guys later, man. Yeah, that's my rant for today. Cord, I just really want to talk about this with you guys. It's really important to me that I talk about this. So I'm going to go head out. If you guys want more videos like this, or let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video. I'll see you guys when I get back to California. This is Krishan, a life of developer, and I'm out. Peace.